Now we have a special performance by Atlantis Clay, who is a student at 10th grader at Skyline High School. He is going to perform his piece. Where is he? I lost him. Oh, there he is. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody can hear me? Okay, that's good. <sighs> Dear Mrs. Davos, we are America's public school teachers. There are about 3.1 million of us. We care deeply that our schools are providing a rigorous and relevant curriculum to every kid who walks through the door. We realize that our communities have different needs and are sometimes frustrated by the one-size-fits-all mentality. We also know that our public schools face a real challenge. 22% of U.S. public school students live in poverty. That's 50% more than the next highest industrialized nation. <clears throat> so I suppose we also need to address the elephant in the room. We're a little freaked out by your nomination to become Secretary of Education. You aren't an educator. You haven't attended or even sent your own children to a public school, yet you have some pretty strong opinions about them. You weren't involved in the study of curriculum or school standards, but what you have done is lobby millions of your own dollars in advocacy for taxpayer dollars to go to unregulated, for-profit charter schools. As teachers, we like to look at data. Interestingly, the data from Michigan, where you have been allowed to use your wealth to influence education policy, would suggest that the charter schools you lobby for aren't really achieving any better than their public counterparts. It seems that anecdotes of ineffective teachers are popular these days. Those anecdotes don't really seem to match up with what we see in our schools. No one is getting into teaching to become wealthy. If you were to meet us and find that you didn't think much of the work we're willing to do, we would be curious to see if you can find a better army of qualified people who are willing to do this work for less money, fewer benefits, and with more regulation. America's public schools are here to serve every kid. Once we introduce you to the young Bosnian kid who translates letters home to his parents and the family kid living out the car who used his, the a street light to illuminate his textbook and the special education student who loves spending part of their day with their peers, we think you'll fall in love with our public schools. Sincerely, America's teachers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Atlantis Clay. Thank you for delivering that. Thank you, students, for being here tonight. Thank you, parents and teachers and guardians, and everyone else, for supporting this. Thank you, Awele, for all your work. Very much appreciate it.